The film opens in a mine operated by a herd of rams. One of them is met by the terrifying appearance of the long-dead Tai Lung. He proceeds to attack and destroy the mine, forcing the rams to flee. Tai Lung then boasts that nobody can stop him now, not even the dragon warrior. In the Valley of Peace, Mr. Ping and Li Shan are running Ping's restaurant together. But Ping is worried about where Po is? The dragon warrior is fighting a flying stingray by the lake, taking to the skies to defeat his new foe. Po manages to beat the stingray and save three piglets that it ate. Po returns to the valley, where Shurfu tries to talk to him about something important. Po instead goes to the opening of a new restaurant based off his heroic exploits, but Shurfu insists on speaking to Po. They walk to the Jade Palace, where Shurfu informs Pu that he must train a new dragon warrior, so that he can become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Pu is made to watch several candidates show off their skills, but he doesn't want to pick anybody other than himself. Shurfu then has Pu meditate so that he can get ready to find a successor. Moments later, Pu spots a fox named Jean sneaking into the Hall of Heroes. He catches her trying to steal something before he tries to use Ugwe's Staff of Wisdom to fight her. Jean uses her own sneaky tricks to knock Po on his butt and try to swipe the staff, but the dragon warrior prevents her from escaping and has her arrested. While escorting Jean to prison, Po is met by the rams, who all frantically tell him that Tai Lung has returned. Po is shocked but goes to investigate the mine, finding that Tai Lung's paw prints change to smaller ones in the snow. Pu goes to Jean's cell to ask her what she knows, and she informs Pu that this is the work of a shape-shifting sorceress known as the Chameleon. Jean convinces Pu to let her free so that she can help him track down the Chameleon, even though Shurfu thinks trusting a thief is a bad idea. Word of the Chameleon spreads to the valley and causes everyone to grow fearful. Ping and Li both try not to worry for Pu until they both break down and admit they are scared for his life, so they work together and go on their own adventure to help their son. In Juniper City, several crime bosses discuss their frustration in having to give a large portion of their earnings to the chameleon. They are then terrified to learn that she is among them in disguise before revealing herself. As a result of the disrespect she feels she is getting, chameleon shapeshifts into an elephant and pushes one of the bosses down the stairs before upping the percentage of their earnings. Per and Jean come close to Juniper City but have to cross a large lake to get across. They enter the Happy Bunny Tavern to find a bunch of thuggish animals there. While Per is looking for a way to get to the city, Jean plays mahjong with the patrons and wins their earnings before ordering a ton of food. It is then discovered that Jean cheated, prompting the tavern's manager, Granny Boar, to send the thugs after Per and Jean. This causes a problem since the tavern is teetering over the edge of a cliff. Pu and Jean fight their way through the crooks, with Pu utilizing the staff with a powerful blast, before they fall out the tavern window and onto a boat operated by Captain Fish, who lives inside his seagull mom's mouth. They proceed to take Pu and Jean to the city. Upon arriving, Pu finds out that Jean is a wanted criminal, and he gets arrested along with her. She quickly breaks them out, leading to the guards chasing the two of them through the city before Jean sneaks them to an underground part of the city that she calls the Din, which is where she used to live. The leader Han is none too happy to see Jean over her leaving them, and the rest of the inhabitants are a bunch of crooks who take pleasure in doing bad deeds. They are able to hide there for a brief while, where Pa continues to try and teach Jean how to do good, before Han kicks them back out. Per and Jean then make their way toward the chameleon's palace, they try to go through a back in trance quietly but accidentally wake up the Komodo dragon guards after Puff farts. Then they have to go through a bunch of traps before they make their way inside. A cage then drops onto Pur, and he tries to get Jean to help prop it up with the staff, only for Jean to walk back and reveal that she was the chameleon's apprentice and tricked Pur into giving her the staff. She had taken Jean in off the streets after seeing potential in her thieving skills. With the staff, the chameleon plans to open the spirit realm and steal the essence of the deceased Kung Fu masters and Po's former enemies, since she was denied the chance to practice Kung Fu due to her small size. With all the power she can steal, the chameleon plans to expand her criminal empire across China. Pa breaks through the floor and fights more guards before making it to the bridge. The chameleon disguises herself as Jun to trick Pa and throw him off a bridge, 
but Ping and Li arrive in time to save him after taking their journey all the way to the city. After Pu expresses dismay over Zhan's betrayal, his dads give him words of encouragement to keep going on the mission. They then see Chameleon's guards bringing giant cages into the palace. The Chameleon uses the staff to open the portal to the spirit realm. Tai Lung is the first to come out, expressing surprise at Chameleon having acquired Ugwe's staff. He then proceeds to mop the floor with Chameleon's guards, with the same ferocity he used in life. But the Chameleon uses her tongue to steal his essence, and then use his own nerve attacks on him to trap him in the cage. She then proceeds to summon other villains like Lord Shun and General Kai. Pa runs across the bridge to try and get back inside the palace, only for Jean to try and stop him from getting himself killed. They have a brief fight until Jean hugs Pa and expresses remorse for deceiving him. They reconcile and then go with Ping and Li to the den to convince Han and everyone else to join the fight, but they only agree because it means they get to do violence. The chameleon finishes stealing the essence of the villains and kung fu masters and imprisoning them, getting ready to head out and conquer the land. Outside, the crooks beat up chameleon's guards, allowing Pa and Jean to get back inside. When they make it back to the chameleon, she shifts into the forms of everyone she has trapped, and making Pa fight his old nemeses once again before turning into a monstrous hybrid of everyone that flies Pa and Jean to the top. They bring her back down and she shifts into an evil version of Pa, meaning Pa has to kick his own butt. The chameleon ends up trapping Pa, so he gives Jean the staff after he gets it back and convinces her that she has the power to use it. Jean fights the chameleon and uses the staff to summon the same dragon chi energy as before, knocking her down. She goes for one more move, but Pa takes the staff back and whacks her over the head. The Kung Fu masters are freed. Tai Lung approaches his nemesis and admits that Pa is a greater warrior than he originally believed. Tai Lung plus Shan Kai and all the other masters then give Pa the fist and palm salute before Pa opens the door to the spirit realm and sends everyone back, with Tai Lung grabbing the chameleon and taking her with him. Zhan joins Pa, Li, and Ping in returning to the Valley of Peace where she is willingly turning herself in to go to jail and later turn over a new leaf. But Pa instead escorts her to the Jade Palace, so that he can train her to become the new dragon warrior. Shurfu protests which makes Jean question if she really does have what it takes to become the dragon warrior, but Pa tells her something that Ping told him, which is sometimes the best dish comes from the most unlikely ingredients. Jean agrees to join Pa while Shurfu goes to meditate near the peach tree, and it is shown that the tree he planted in the first movie is starting to grow. During the credits, Pa is joined by the Furious Five to help train Jin, though she ends up wiping out just like Pa did when he started.